on quick, on grass, well done. Thanks. Another UK gold, how how did you feel the race went? Because it's not near a season's best, but it's the gold and that's what I'm guessing you wanted from today. Yeah, it was a little bit kind of rusty-ish. Um, I should have run a lot better than that, but I won, so that's what I came out here to do. I came out here this weekend to secure my seat on that plane to Beijing, and so that's what I done, so I'm definitely happy with that. Why are you not doing the four this season? Do you prefer the two? Do you prefer the four? What? I'm Linford confused! Yeah, so literally, this weekend I really wanted to try and double up, but because I didn't have the qualifying for the four to go Beijing, but I've had I've got two to go for the 200, so last night after doing the heats, Linford sat me down and said to me, it's better to be successful at one than to come second or not be as good as you can be juggling with two. Um, so I took that on board last night and we literally made a decision to just book your seat on the plane and we can decide on what you want to do about the four. So maybe maybe in the next three weeks I'll put in a bit more training and do a four and see how it goes. But I think, I don't know which one I prefer. It's pretty weird. I've spoken about this before, but then you keep doing like random ones and you, you bust them as well. So it's like, see? you can just choose what you want to do. The, the thing with the 100 is, Linford always says to me, if I can get my 100 quicker, it will help with my 200. And if I get my 200 quicker, it will help with the 400. And but now I feel like you're a 200 runner. You're not like, you, you're amazing at both of them. But now I'm just confused. Like, what are you? <laughs> see, see, this is what I've been saying to myself. How did I start wearing this GB vest? It was running the 200s. And so last year I did try the 400. And it didn't quite go as well as we hoped it would. So we went back in the winter and started doing what I used to do and it seems to be working better. So I think I am more of a 2-4 runner than just the 4 runner. So my speed is what will help me in terms of advantages over the 4. So we're going to work on getting my speed up and then seeing what happens. Do you ever go any higher than a 4? No! on page you a million quid no okay we did a time trial 800 meters with my training partner monique um she went off like a rocket and i was like oh you're gonna die while well, i was thinking she was gonna die i hadn't even done like 300 meters and i was always like oh no this is gonna hurt and i still had 500 to go you should have seen me i was crawling so i said nothing past 400 and a couple of years ago i would have said i'm not even doing a 400 so but no 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 i won't ever do anything past four um, so you went to Saudi Arabia last November was it? Yeah. How was that? Because for the rest of you training group, I'm sure it's amazing because yeah. they're men and it's fine. But for you, what what was sort of the culture shock like for you? Do you know what? I think I kind of prepared for it. So I did a lot of research, a lot of reading. And I just found that, OK, is it cultural differently? Like I have to wear an abaya. But because we were so well looked after, I didn't feel it as much. Until you know, a couple of nights before we left, I went to the mall by myself. All the boys were going crazy. I wasn't supposed to go by myself, but I went anyway. And this girl walked into the mall with normal clothes on. But I saw her, but I didn't think anything of it because my mind is kind of trained to, you can wear what you like. Then about 10 seconds after seeing her, I looked again, I went, hold on. And as I went to myself, hold on, some security man goes on the speaker. It obviously is Saudi Arabia, but I knew that he was, and all the guys started like shouting at her. It was like a scene out of the movie. By the time I tried to take out my phone and Snapchat her, she had like literally disappeared. So it was like crazy. I was like, they're gonna kill her, she must run. And I think she was probably protesting or something, but yeah, it was a bit crazy. Scary thing. It was, I was a little bit scared because it came out of this speaker in a really big mall and he was shouting me down I was like, oh, maybe, maybe. First I thought, are they shouting at me? But I thought, no, it must be her because she's literally in tight jeans, a blazer. And I was like, oh, God, someone's in trouble, yeah. So what's next for you this season in Tour Beijing? What have you got planned? <laughs> Okay, I think I'm going to do my club meet next week, but we haven't decided on the event yet. And then maybe I'm going to get back into training because I think I'll probably be doing the Grand Prix. Um, and I really need to be ready for that because 23.5 right now, no, it's not going to... It's like, no, I'll embarrass myself, so let's not do that, yeah. Well done for today and best of luck for the rest Thank of the season. You. Thank you.